Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the vlogs. We have made it to the beginning of a new week as I climb up this massive hill. But as you can tell from the title, we have some VO2 max testing today, which I'm actually really excited about because I've never done it before. So I get to go flat out on a, it's a bike today, so not the rowing machine, so not too specific. But we'll talk to the people and see how far it is off if I was to do the VO2 max on the rowing machine. But now, we're going to get to Bath Uni, where the study that I'll talk about has been done. Oh, I've made it to the top of the hill. So let's get to it. And we've made it to the Uni, just outside the sports training village, where the study, where we are getting to do the VO2 max is taking place. But before we do that, what a beautiful day on this Monday. The sun is out, even the sky is actually blue, rather than the dull grey that has been for the last couple weeks so hopefully we get on the water soon but unfortunately the water from the weekend has risen so we'll have to wait for it to come back down but still appreciating that the sun is actually out and maybe maybe we're finally getting into spring and summer oh yeah and we've made it to the uni of bath sports training village the facilities in here are just outstanding, absolutely fantastic. And as you might be able to tell, it's Monday, the weather's good, and I'm excited to get this test going. Oh, yeah. And we've finished off with the bike with the VO2 max test and it was difficult as you might imagine you basically go harder and harder and harder until you can't and you breathe and it's pretty simple really and they're doing all the space calculus over here to figure numbers out but now after any session regardless of it's a high intensity low intensity it's time to fuel up because remember food is fuel oh yeah And we have fueled up a little bit. We're out here walking the puppies post VO2 max test on the bicycle. I won't get the results till tomorrow, hopefully, of the test itself. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when that video comes out. But I was on there for 29 minutes and 13 seconds as the wind is still picking up. If that means anything. And so the test itself, the bike resistance goes up depending on the time of the test every two or three minutes half a kilo and so it gets harder every two or three minutes depending on the time of the test time part time of and during the test and you have to hold 60 revs a minute 60 rpm and for me like i finished like i hit 194 heart rate so close to max one so around 200 is my max 
So I was definitely working quite hard, but the lungs and my heart, my lungs it weren't sort of like pushing the limits. It was my legs that were struggling to hold the reps. So maybe I could get a little bit more, but it would be interesting to see what I could do VO2 max wise on the rowing machine. One, because I know sort of my limits on the machine, and two, I'm not very used to a bike anymore. I've not really cycled a lot for a while. So I'd be curious to know the difference between sort of VO2 max on a bike, VO2 max on an erg, or at least when you're efficient at one of them, at least I would say I'm kind of more efficient on the erg than the bike. So like I said, get the results tomorrow and we'll see kind of where that is. And it's quite good to get a benchmark. This is the first time that I've done a VO2 max test, regardless of machine. So I have a little bit of a benchmark here and then maybe at the end of this training block maybe or, or later this year I can do another one at some point and see if it's got worse or got better maybe even get on the rowing machine for it too but really kind of exciting opportunity to do that and the whole point of this was as part of a study at the University of Bath to test immune function and immune differences in exercise instead of People say you do a lot of exercise and it, and it hinders your immune system. But usually the studies to do with that are when you do a lot of exercise. And it is kind of well known that if you run yourself down by doing a lot of exercise, you run your immune system down and it's, you're more likely to get ill. But the recommended exercise for anyone who isn't sort of training all day every day is 30 minutes a day. So is your immune system hindered by doing that 30 minutes a day? Because I think the study is suggesting perhaps, or at least that's the point of the study, is will 30 minutes a day actually boost your immune system? And that's kind of the point of the study to find out. So I've got another couple of parts of the study where I do um, two half an hour efforts at different levels of intensity based on my VO2 max test today. And I'm excited to do that too. One, because it's really cool to be part of the study and help out. So there's fel fellow rowers are doing the study. And also just to to do something different and also obviously getting in the VO2 max test that I've never done before. Because remember, variation was one of the keys to motivation. But now we've got to get on with the rest of the day post walking the puppies. We've got weights and then a little bit of a lower intensity stretch out this evening. But now we'll finish off the walk. So let's get to it. We've made it to the gym, now it's time to get lifting and we're changing things up with the deadlifts. But you'll see what I mean in a second and I'll let you know after in a second how I thought the changes went. Ooh. And we finished off with the change in lifting. So we're still working on all of the, the body, but here we just did, as you saw, some deadlifts with some bands. We also did other exercises, but I thought the deadlifts with, with the bands were interesting. We were just working on different parts of the deadlift rather than all of the deadlift, if that makes sense, because there's a little bit of a weakness towards the top end of the deadlift, if that makes sense. But now, after any session, it's time to fuel that because you've guessed it, food is fuel, are you? And we've made it back to the house post fueling up post weights session. And like I said, getting the deadlifts in there and changing up a little bit with the bands, partly because variation is a big part of motivation, but also obviously trying to figure out the weaknesses, work on the weaknesses, but also work on things that we think that are applicable to rowing. So adding the bands, we're trying them out to see if that helps make the deadlift an even more applicable exercise to rowing, but also applicable to things that my body needs to work on. And the VO2 max test, really good to get it done. Um, and really excited to see the results and see how it can compare to other athletes in the world. And 
then even more simply than that, it gives me an opportunity to say, okay, this is my VO2 max now, and then what is, or what can I increase it maybe in this training block or over more time than that? And as well, still curious if the change, like doing it on the bike versus doing it on, say, the Erg right now, since I'm my body's used to the row machine, would that make my score a bit better? And even if it did, or even if it would, would it make it a drastic amount better? Or would it make it even worse? But now, that will be it for today's episode of Jam Squad. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Something a little bit different today, keeping up the sort of momentum of the... the, the it's still light, light outside when only a week or two ago... It was dark at this same time at about five o'clock. So absolutely fantastic to have it getting lighter, having the sun come out. But like I said, the weather hasn't been great over the weekend. So the water has been absolutely heinous. And right now it is pretty flooded. So can't quite get on the water yet. Maybe it's a case of moving to somewhere for a day or so just to get on the water and get that ball rolling. But... That's for future Yam Squad to look forward to. Right now, it's for some recovery and then a steady workout later on. And as always, Yam Squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and I will see you in tomorrow's episodes of the vlog. Oh, yeah.